Hey what's up guys this is Varun here back again with another amazing video for you guys you might have seen these new cool instagram filters which tell you which disney character you are or which anime character you are i have created a similar effect which is called which marvel character you are and which tells you which marvel character you are in the mcu world and in this tutorial video i will show you the step by step process of how i created my which marvel character you are effect from scratch till the finish so make sure you watch this video till the end with that being said hit that thumbs up button and let's get started before we start i would just like to thank you for clicking on this video i hope this video helps you in creating your own instagram ar filter and if it does then do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as i will be making more of these tutorial videos and now let's get into the process First you need to download Spark AR Studio. I will give the direct download link in the description down below. You can just go there and download that. After that just install it and you also need a folder containing all of the pictures you want to use in the effect. And the total size of these effects must be less than 5 MB. So once you have done that, just open up Spark AR Studio. And here click on blank project. Now you will see this window, this might look complicated but trust me it's very easy. You can adjust any window by just dragging on the edge of it. The first thing you need to do is click on add asset and select animation sequence. I will name the sequence images and click on choose file and choose the images which you have previously kept in the folder. Next make sure you have enabled random under control settings. Now you need to just Right click anywhere and click on add and select a face tracker and right click on this face tracker and go to add and select a plane. Now I will move this plane in y direction. You can just place them anywhere by dragging on the green, blue and red arrows. Now we need to expand it. To expand it just click on this small square at the top and drag the red and green handles however you want. This will adjust the size of the image. I am happy with this size. After you have adjusted the size, then click on plus icon next to materials. This will create a new material. Now I will name this material as image material. Here go to shader type and change it to flat. And now click on choose file and select your cover image. I have created this cover image in Photoshop. Now just duplicate the plane layer and name them intro image and gallery. The first one is the introduction image and second one is the gallery of your photos. Now go to materials and click on create new material. Now name this material gallery material and change the shader type to flat and now go to texture and select the animation sequence which we have created at the beginning of this video. The name of the texture should be the name of the animation sequence which is images in my case. Now if you just play this animation, you can see the pictures are just randomly moving. Now I'll just pause this and continue with the process. Till this point you are 50% done, we have another 50% to go. Now we need to add patches. So to weave the patch editor, just go to weave and select show patch editor. And this is our patch editor window. Here first drag the camera into the patch editor and drag the video recording node and leave it. After leaving it, you need to type delay and just click on enter, it will be added. This is the amount of time which you want the cover image to show. I will set this at 1.5. Next drag the output node and type pulse. Next drag the on output node of the pulse and type switch. Next drag the output port of switch and type not. Once I have done that, now select the intro image and under properties, enable the right arrow beside the visible button. This will create a new patch which is named intro image and which is colored yellow. Now you need to connect the not output node to the input node of this intro image. Next select gallery. Uncheck the visible button and click on the right arrow beside visible. This will create a new patch and you need to add this new patch to the output port of switch. Now our node 1 is complete. Upon completion your node 1 should look similar to this. Now let's create node 2. Just right click anywhere in the patch editor and type runtime. Next drag the output port of runtime 
and type offset and drag the output port of offset and type less than. Here we will enter any small number like 3 or 4. Now drag the output port of less than and type loop animation. And in the loop animation, make the duration as 0.05. This is the time between each images during the shuffling process. The lesser this number, the more faster your photos will shuffle. Now drag the looped port of loop animation and type random. And in the random patch, select the end value as 28. Uh, the 28 number is the total number of photos I have. For you, it may be different. Just make sure that the total number of photos is equal to the number of end value and leave the start value as 0. Now drag the output port of random and type round. Now select images under animation sequence and click on the right arrow besides the current frame. This will create a new patch named images. Now connect the output port of round to the input port of images. And that's it, your two main patches are created. Now we need to join these patches. Just drag the turned on port of pulse in the reset port of offset as I'm doing here right now. Done, the process is complete. That's how easy it is to create your own Instagram AR filter. Now we need to save this file. I will save this file as which Marvel hero. Now just click on upload and make sure no compression is disabled. And now you can just export this file and upload it to Instagram and Facebook. That's it for this video guys. This was my first Spark AR project. I hope you have learned something watching this video. And now you can create your own AR filters. If you want me to make more of these tutorial videos, then do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any project ideas that you would like to share, any new Instagram filter ideas, then do let me know in the comment section down below. I will make that as soon as possible. And I will also make a tutorial on it. And thank you for watching. This is Varun here. Until next time, take care.